Hello YouTube, what's going on? This is Mr. Moopig9 here, and today I'm bringing you guys my first map review, and this map review is going to be over the Obsidian Defenders map, and this is a player versus player map, I believe, so it's like an adventure, not really an adventure, but it's kind of something you would play around with your friends or something like that, but it's kind of laggy, I'd say, right now, for me at least, uh, because it's a pretty big building or whatever this is right here arena i guess and there's a lot of blocks in here so i don't know if it's still loading or what um i don't really know it's just kind of laggy for me but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go over what there is in the side of this map and it's a huge map as you can see and it really it's an awesome map it's super fun i've done it a few times with some of my friends and it's really fun to do so I'm going to go ahead and start off in the back here really quick. And I will leave the download link for this map in the description below so you guys can access it very quickly. And that is it. Let me go back here really quick because just to show you where you guys spawn. Okay, so here is the spawn area and there are some signs saying... Please change it to nighttime, which is completely necessary. Don't break any blocks. There are two red, two teams, red and blue, and you have to take your color team tunnel down to your little base. So I'm going to take the red team for an example here. There's a blue one over there. So you'll basically just split off into teams and head down to your little bases. And I don't understand the point of this super long hallway, all it does is take forever to get down, but I don't know. Welcome to your spawn area is what it says, and it should be nighttime right now. I'm a creative to show you guys around this map quicker so I can fly around and stuff like that. So, what I have here is the spawn area, and when it's nighttime in survival, which you should have, if you can't change it, which I don't know how to change it, honestly, just wait it out until nighttime, and you have to go to sleep in the beds so you can set your spawn point to this bed exactly so you can if you happen to die you will respawn at this bed and you can grab your stuff from the chest and run out and I should have this on creative utilities right now but I don't and I'm sorry about that I might change it here in a second but let me go over this really quick there is a lot of signs here that say the objective of the game and stuff like that so you have to read these over here, please. Sleep, this will set your spawn point, that's what I just said. So when you die, you can reconnect, or some, when you reconnect, you will have to sleep again, whatever. I don't know, I guess it's just saying when you reconnect to the server, you have to sleep once again. Objective of the game is to dig through the obsidian on the other side of the map, and the enemy base behind the obsidian will ignite. TNT will show that your team has won the battle. Also, defend your obsidian. There are hidden chests and secret passages across the map. I've seen them. And you are only to hold a diamond pickaxe, diamond sword, beef, bow, arrows, and wearing full diamond armor, except the helmet. And the red team will wear the gold helmet. While blue team wears iron, both teams will have equal armor, which is 9.5 out of 10 on the top left of your screen. Actually, that said... Of yo screen, of yo screen. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the mod of creative utility so I can see and show you guys what's inside of those chests. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've applied the creative utilities mod, and if you have not seen my mod review on that, go ahead and check it out. It's just a video right before this one, I think. I can't, I can't remember if I recorded in between, but whatever. Uh, just check that out, and it will just be like a review, which is exactly what it meant. I don't know what I was going there. So, I am in creative right now, and there's actually 64 of every single one of these items, so I cannot view the number next to them in creative for some reason, but you get all of this armor and bows, pickaxes, and all that stuff, so you can pick it up and run out here to go into battle. So, you start near your side. You can use the tower for a sniping spot. So there's some towers over here. You can snipe with your bow. I think it would be a lot more fun if we had a, a lot of people playing it. Or if you had a lot of people playing it. I know when I played it, I didn't have 
uh, about four people is what I had. So, And also there is a few spots on the map that aren't filled in where the blocks should be. So be careful if you don't fix that. But anyway, here are the obsidian places. This is the objective of the map. There is another one of these. Basically, the exact copy of this side of the map is on the very other side of that little jungle right there. So what you have to do in survival is break through this barrier here so you can get to the chest, open it, and take out the, um, I always forget this, flint and steel, so you can light the TNT and blow up the enemy base. But when we played it, or me and my friends played it, we did not have diamond pickaxes just because, or we didn't have any pickaxes at all because there were so few of us, it would be kind of way too easy for us to play and get it done so quickly. So we had to use our hands and that took a while to break the obsidian, but that was the fun of it. When you have more people, I know it'll be a lot more fun. You're going to want to use that diamond pickaxe. But anyway, that's just an idea if you have a short amount of people. Here's the sniping spot where you can shoot people with your bow if they're coming in to steal your base or whatever you want to say. So that covers the bases. Here's the jungle here. And it gets kind of laggy when I get into here for some reason. Don't know why. There's just random chests all across the map. And they're full of meat and snowballs. And I have absolutely no idea why they are full of snowballs. It makes no sense. And I cannot hit that X right now. Or else this... I'll switch over to the bike race for some reason. So, Actually not for some reason. I know it will. There's not, some of the chests are not full... For some reason, I don't know why that, but most of them are filled with meat and snowballs. So it's kind of weird why the heck you need snowballs, but whatever. Also, on both sides of the jungle, there's this little area right here with lots of meat and snowballs for some reason. Once again, there's also one on the other side. So basically, after you spawn, you can run out, go to the other team's side. We'll act like I started at the red, which I did. But I'm going over to the blue here, and I'll fly to make it faster. You sneak up over here, and basically just break through and blow up the TNT that's on the inside of that. So that is the point of the map. It's really fun. If you guys want to play it, I will leave the download link in the description below. So you guys can download that and check it out and do all that cool stuff. And this was originally a PC map and it was ported over to Pocket Edition. So this, I believe, was full of redstone contraptions and stuff uh, because I think the side of the wall had something electronically through redstone going through it, like a countdown clock, possibly. I don't know. I never played it on PC. So that is the map review. There's also some more sniping spots up here on the top of these trees if you want to do that. But whatever, you can play down below or up high shooting with your sniper or, in this case, be a bow and arrow. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have not already, please click the like button because it encourages me to continue making these videos for you guys. And also go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more Pocket Edition. I will be releasing more videos here sometime soon. And uh, this is a weird place right here. There's a lot of mobs. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching once again. And stay tuned for my next review. Whenever I do that, if I do another map review, I'm not sure if I will. I kind of liked it. Uh, I'm not sure what other maps you guys want me to review. If you have one, leave that in the description or comment that below so I can know what you guys want me to do. And other than that, once again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video.